I was scared of failing, but I can't fail with this. It makes me happy. So right then and there, I'm already successful. My name is Adderley Grant Lord. My art is abstract. I will say my art also inhabits my emotions, my feelings. These are my moods. It's basically my inner self. I'm from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Um, and for you, those who do not know where that is, that's in the Caribbean. And I moved to the United States, I was 12 years old. So my art has changed over the years. I went and studied fashion design. I worked for Ascola de Rente and 7th Avenue. I've always followed the rules and I wanted to break some. I wanted to break all of mine. I'm stuck in this circle of doing what everybody else wanted and not what I think I was built for. So I started to paint. My husband came home one day and I had this painting and he said, oh my God, I can't believe this is in you and you're not sharing it. That one conversation got me to painting like a mad woman and I start painting. It let me see me. I knew me in qu quiet places. I didn't know me out loud. And I was, I was speaking out loud and I was dancing out loud. I was petrified of failing. And that's why I didn't go back to painting. And now I was no longer scared of failing. So what if I fail? Who really cares? I decided I was just gonna love me and I really didn't care about what anybody else was thinking. I paint from all angles. I paint horizontal, vertical. I move the canvas around. Most of my abstract, you could place them whichever your heart desire, whichever best pleases your eye. I don't try to control it. And when I try to, the canvas will kick me back. I just start painting. Um, sometimes I paint with my hands. I find when I start with my hands, I get a rush because I'm feeling the paint and I almost don't look at what I'm painting per se. I just start painting and, and I just go with the flow <laughs> from there. I now have something that hangs on a wall that have what I was feeling in it. There's a light in each one of us that I think we have to claim, that power that you were born with that uh, I think people tell us not to be or how to be or expectation of your mother and your father. This is your personal light. And I want everybody to claim their personal light and not let anybody else dictate what you are feeling. And to the viewer, it could mean whatever you bring to it. It's for that kid that can't speak. It's for that adult who is struggling. I think it's food for the soul. We feed the body with regular food. This is just pure food for the soul. That's what art does. It knocks on all your doors and your insides. With the COVID came a lot of challenge. I think it was Easter, April, both the Pine Street Baptist Church asked me to do something for the community, for the outside. We, we want one of your happy paintings that we could put outside. I go, yeah, I guess I could have an outdoor exhibit. People are doing music online, but you can't get to the art. You cannot get to a museum. You can't get any of that stuff to like fill up what was missing from your community, going to a restaurant, going out with your friends, you know, that nurturing you get from just the community. So I came out with a drive to six feet apart art exhibit in my front yard. I wanted people to know that the distance wasn't dark. It, and I wish I could give this to everybody that's going through this time. The distance is not dark, it's here for a purpose. We are missing something as a society, central being. We are missing that part of us that we connect with ourselves before we connect with other people. Try to figure out why, why did my spiritual being inhabit this body? If you figure that out, you will figure out the space between me and you is extremely beautiful and it turns and curves. It has so much dimension to it. And it's up to you to either travel and embrace it, bathe in it, inhabit it, 
you're still living and breathing the space between me and you, you will need to make it that which is deeper than just what we see. Whatever you're feeling, put it down. Let something bigger than you take over so that your problem becomes very small. Your problem is not a problem, it's something waiting to happen on the canvas for somebody else. So I keep that in mind when I was painting the Black Life series. It was hard, it's heavy. It's heavy stuff to deal with people dead. And I, I thought about that series from, I identify in it from a mother's perspective. I can't imagine not having my child just because she was black and she happened to live in this country. I couldn't, I couldn't contemplate it. So when I go to paint, I will get a rush of anger. And I was like, I, I don't want to paint that, but someone else needs you to paint what's coming through. So no matter what I'm feeling while I'm painting, you may never get that. You may never get that feeling, but there's something else that I'm giving to you that you're gonna need when you stand there. And that's just me being true to what I'm feeling so that when you come upon the painting, your personal experience is what you bring to it. You don't need what I was feeling because my feeling is personal to me. My friends would say, oh my gosh, I just saw a tiger in your painting. I'm like, you did? Really? I was like, okay, your tiger, not mine. <laughs> I knock on your door. You may not like the knock, but it will challenge you. It might confuse you, but it'll make you think. I do not take you to a dark place. I take you to a place where you might want to be better person within this moment. <laughs>